Yesterday was a special day <laughs> yes, for us here. It was fun. I will say that. It was a fun day. This was the day Carmen finally paid off. If there was a day to have fun. In the trip to Olive Garden after not being able to predict 80% of the playoff contestants in the NFL at the end of last year's season. Yeah, I think I missed by two. Two playoff teams I think yeah. I missed by. Yesterday was a fun day. Um, what do we do? The Olive Carmen? Garden. The Olive Garden. Do you want me to start positive Italian or negative? Cuisine. What do you guys want? Let's explain go the whole day. The day. Yeah. Okay. Through the day. Twelve thirty hits. All right. We leave here. We interrupted take, because Chris had to do an interview about the sky. Which <laughs> was we, good, by the way. We take the blue line. Yurko on the blue line. Yurko on the blue line. It's something to behold. Handing out money left and right. Uh, there was a, there chocolates. Was, there was a there was a, 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 young, a, young, a young man. I think I think that was I think he was an adult. He's a, a young man. He wasn't a, a kid. I think a young entrepreneur. He's a small adult. A uh, small adult selling a <laughs> chocolate on the train, which I, they tell you you shouldn't do. I don't. I think they say no soliciting, like they no do. smoking, no fighting, no weapons, no soliciting. I was breaking the law actually. Uh, by Yurko helping was breaking the, the law a little bit, but Yurko bought some chocolate, which was you know as Yurko's one. Yurko's Hershey one of the more bar, generous guys. Some M and M's, six he, bucks. He reached right into his pocket. Poor he guy out walked some through the whole train. Nobody even acknowledged the little man. Yeah, and Yurko and said, I'll I said, take I pulled care. out a five <laughs> spot. And I said one more, and he goes, I need another dollar. I. Um, I, and so I gave him a dollar, and then I t- pulled the Hershey bar out of there. I, so at least he made it through the car, making a little bit of money. I rode the Blue Line for uh, roughly 15 years. I, I lived on the Blue Line my entire uh, life living in Chicago. And I was reminded yesterday, because I haven't taken it often in recent years. There hasn't been really a need for me to. I was reminded how dreadful our public transportation is. Oh, there's a is. certain sense uh, on that train, too. Well, not only that, just the you know that you wait that you'd have to wait 20 minutes for the train that goes, you know, to the airport. You saw a guy with an ankle monitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some no, it was a woman. A woman got yeah. on and she had a I was I looked at Adam, I'm like, is she supposed to be on home arrest? Like mm-hmm. she was wearing an ankle monitor. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. narc. All right. Uh, well, uh, I didn't I just said that. You're buying like, candy I, from a, a, I a, a little man and, and you nudged Adam. I'm like, is that weird that she's got an ankle yeah, monitor? I see that. Like but isn't it supposed to go off if she leaves the house? No, maybe maybe it's um, if she gets to travel to work or yeah, something. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. She had an ankle monitor on. I'd say uh not one but two listeners. Uh, noticed Yurko yes. uh, oh, waiting yeah. on the platform and then also on the train, and yeah. they started up conversations. They wanted to know what the Bears are going to do at 9. Yeah. So so Yurk's holding court on the train. That was good. It was great. Yurko hadn't been on the L, and he said it forever, it felt like. So we took the train out to the Addison stop, and the Olive Garden is right there uh, when you get off at Addison. Conveniently located. Conven- I mean, it is convenient. You literally have to walk off 300 yards, yeah, if that. Uh, no, not, not, not even that. Just across the street and across the street. So there's the Olive Garden. I was struck at the, how large of an establishment. I said, boy, they must be doing something right. I mean, uh, this is, it's a huge building. I said, who, did they fill this up? I, there were, I couldn't believe the size of it and all the available tables. There was a crowd. We asked for a private room. Uh, and yeah, we got one. We, we got a got private one. room. We were in a very small part, uh, a smaller section of the restaurant in the corner where we were away from the crowd. We didn't want to disturb everybody with our silliness. And there was still a late lunch crowd that was in there. Yes, there was. You know, we caught the lunch special, actually. Yes, we did. Which was nice. It won't cost the company as much. Yeah, I got an update on that. What? Well, just, just go through the day. <laughs> um, so we sit down. The best part of the meal was, was it Ilya? Was that her name, I believe? Yes, Ilya. 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 Couldn't have been nicer. Our server, yeah. I will wonderful. say, the Olive Garden does go out of the way to make you feel like family. When you're here, you're family. They were very polite and nice. Very Even polite. through all of our shenanigans, I don't think they knew what we were doing, but they saw us they taking knew. videos. And shenanigans? The three of us were enjoying a lunch. You, yeah, were, were, you were pulling shenanigans. There was some shenanigans. You, Chris I, walks I, in and tells him it's my birthday. My birthday's in December. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Chris was the first one to kick off the shenanigans. He's like, yeah, we're celebrating a special occasion. It's his birthday. Oh, you get a free tiramisu. Well, why not? So there was shenanigans. She looks at me and goes, family. You guys do the singing and everything, yeah, right? right? She goes, oh, yeah. Chris wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the whole kitchen staff will come out. They did treat you like family. That's the probably the nicest thing I could say. Our server was wonderful. 
Uh, she put up, and Yurko's always got shenanigans, let's face it, always. Listen, number one on the list is the salad was the best. No, I disagree. I don't uh, care. Listen, the well, salad was fresh. And she goes, do you guys want water? And Yurko immediately goes, and a fried calamari, and a shrimp frites, and a, a salad uh, a, a and breadsticks azul. for everybody. And, and, and a pasta, pasta fazool. Shrimp frites. She, she was like, whoa, whoa, I'm just taking drink <laughs> orders. Yurko goes, give us a fried calamari, a shrimp misto. I'll take a bowl of pasta vizool and bring the unlimited breadsticks and salad. By the way, I only wanted wanted a cup. I oh. asked for a cup. Well, she gave you a bowl. You got she the whole give bowl. Me a bowl. She gave me a bowl. So, do you want me to just start at the beginning? Yeah. Let's go through yeah, it. Yeah, go through the meal. Fried food came out in about 40 seconds, which is never a good sign. <laughs> it was hot when we got it. Oh, hot because it was his sitting under a heat lamp. Oh, you were saying it was just waiting for yes. us? <laughs> the calamari, uh, there will be two nice things other than the great wait staff that I will say about the food. Uh, the calamari was edible, I will say. There's way too much of a breading, breading with, and, full and of all spices. kinds of spices that you don't need on fried calamari. Right. They look like they just took like a bag of Italian seasoning, probably, dumped it in some flour, and that's what they coat their calamari in. You really shouldn't do that. But the calamari was edible. The shrimp misto was not. Uh, you, that was, you, you had a big complaint about the peppers and the zucchini that were in there. Well, then I've never seen anything like it. Poor, uh, like I've never seen these little tiny dried up shrivels of zucchini and red peppers that they tried to fry. If you're going to do that, you can't have these little, what, what, what were they going for? Like shoestring potatoes? I don't know. They were I like don't these know what the sad, goal was. There were these sad, pathetic little strips of fried vegetables and uh, fried shrimp that had probably been sitting out for hours. What, what, what uh, about that was not good. So that was bad. What Terrible. about the pasta fajoule that came out? We wanted you to uh, taste that. The pasta fajoule, uh, how can I put this? Uh, Doesn't have ground beef in first it? First of all, what they're serving at the Olive Garden is not pasta fajoule. It's chili. It's chili. Uh, pasta fajoule <laughs> is an Italian dish comprised of little tiny pieces of pasta and beans. Fazool or fagioli is beans. You do not use red kidney beans. It's a white bean. They use white right? beans, navy bean or a cannelloni bean most traditionally. You do not put ground beef in it. If any sort of protein would be in there, it would be like pancetta. Uh, they are making a chili and saying, oh, this is Italian chili, I guess, pasta fazool. That's a crime against Italian cuisine what they are trying to pass off as, and it wasn't even good chili. I mean, if you're at least making a good bowl of chili, like fine, it wasn't even good chili, but you can't make chili with ground beef and red kidney beans and say, this is pasta vizool. That's tragic. <laughs> I mean, you were so offended by this. It, so it is offensive. You were mad when you saw it on the menu. Well, I saw the menu. I looked at the description. I said to Adam, I said, and your go immediately goes, I need a, I need a cup of that. A, please. Yeah, yeah. They brought him a big bowl. And it was no good. I mean, again, at least if you were making good chili, uh, at least you could yeah, say, okay. I, I'm looking right now, Carm, at a pasta fajoule recipe. Uh, olive oil, onions, uh, it's stocks usually of celery, three cloves of garlic, yeah. uh, parsley, Italian seasoning, crushed red pepper flakes, salt to taste, uh, chicken broth, two medium tomatoes peeled and chopped, a tomato sauce, or well, half a cup of uh, ditalini or other small pasta, and a can of cannellini beans with liquid. That's it. Yes. I don't see ground beef anywhere no, in this. Of course not. The, so that was Karn's big complaint with the pasta fajoule. It's chili. It's not it's pasta fajoule. It's chili with a little bit of pasta. Yeah. Terrible. Then the entrees uh, came. Then the entrees came. Well, well first, the sal uh, first of all, the salad was fine. The salad's edible. The, the dressing's got too much sugar. I think maybe everybody probably was able to pick up on that, right? Like, there's a lot of sugar yeah. in the dressing. It's delicious, You don't though. need that. The salad was fine. Uh, the breadsticks, give me a break. They're Every awesome. Oh, delicious. Oh, delicious. How dare you? Warm, you, delicious. You guys are so on full those of breadsticks. It. You guys live in Chicago. They're soft. And you, know, and you eat good food. And you know what bread is supposed to taste like. Bread is not supposed not to be bread. A, 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 a mushy, limp it was, uh, that was not limp. Oh, stop I've it. Seen it was stiff. Limp. It was stiff I've bread. I've seen limp. There, it was stiff. Bread should be have a crunchy outside and a soft inside. That's right. There's no they, crunch they, on oh, that bread. I, oh, the breadsticks. Get you're out going, of you here. You like the three of them. The bread I had two of them, but there's no crunch on them. You're going to polish off five no between crunch. the two of us. The, yeah. the, 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 the bread I sticks. smoke one like a cigar. I mean, we're get out of here. So the salad was fine. There's too much sugar in the dressing, but the salad was fine. At least it was crispy lettuce. The salad was fine. Passable. The breadsticks, please. 
Then the entrees. Do you want me to break and talk no. about the entrees? We're going. No, sure? no, wait, 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 no. Don't. Push the break. This, this is more matter. important. This doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, the you entrees. Are, you ordered the egg, uh, eggplant parmesan. Uh, the fellas ordered the chicken parmesan. I ordered the tour of Italy. You took the tour. Took the tour of Italy. I ordered eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan is a very uh, is a very proud sort of classic Italian dish all throughout Italy. In most parts of Italy, you're going to find some version of eggplant parmesan. You want the good or the bad? What do you want first? You guys tell me. Give us the good. The, the, the best thing on the table yesterday and the most passable bite of food, I will compliment them, was the eggplant parmesan. Without question. Not bad. Chris and Adam's chicken parm wasn't bad either, but it's not how you'd ever have chicken parm in Italy or in any Italian household. If You'd never have a big breast of chicken that is just breaded and fried. Like that... You know the texture it of it. Is, yeah, that, that's it not how they, that's not how you yeah. make chicken parm. But it was fine. I, I took a bite of Adams. It was fine. I mean, it was tasty. It was it was fine. The pasta is probably the most disrespectful slap in the face <laughs> to any Italian or Italian cuisine or cuisine period that I've ever experienced in my life. The uh, pasta was the, horrific. It it's truly shameful. That pasta is not dropped to order. That pasta is made at some point early in the morning. It sits around all day. It's all clumped together. It's lukewarm. There's some yucky sauce splashed over the top of it. Uh, it is, you, it's true. It's truly shameful and criminal. Quite frankly, it's criminal. It's criminal. And somebody should probably be arrested. For but, for putting something like that on a menu, saying we're an Italian restaurant, this is the pasta. Parm's going after Mr. Garden. You're going to get. Uh, I'm going to arrest you, quite, Mr. Garden. I'll, I'll be quite honest. I mean, these but recipes then, come from Italy. No, they don't. But that wasn't the worst thing you had. The worst yeah, thing. Yeah, take your tour. Um, take the tour of Italy. The bite I took of Yurko's tour of Italy. Alfredo. Yeah. I couldn't even. I spit it you out. Spit it out. I chewed. You, you chewed I at least chewed, chewed and swallowed every other bite of food. Yeah. You spit that Not out. Not only did you spit it out, he spit. you then looked at us and said, guys, don't oh, eat this. Don't, I said, don't, don't eat don't. it. Don't, hold don't, on. Eat it. don't do it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. We all looked at you like you had just eaten bleach. Yeah, like Adam you said, found is there a glass piece of glass, glass in it? And we, don't we do all it, tried guys. it. Don't do it, guys. And it was fine. It's not fine. It, it tasted exactly like fettuccine Alfredo. That's how it, it tastes. It was cold, clumpy, hard pasta with a disgusting cream sauce splashed all over it. To be fair, the cold aspect of that, I think, is something Abdel and I will get to in a moment. When you finish your discussion over all the menu items, yeah. we've got How something up our sleeve. I didn't How taste the lasagna? lasagna. You could barely keep the lasagna so down, what I do with the He's lasagna. handing it up for the video. He could barely keep Listen, it down. Listen, the lasagna, <laughs> what I had to do is cut off the dried pasta pieces on the edges. Yeah. So if I cut like a, a half an inch off of the whole thing, and minimize the square to a smaller square, then you actually had pasta that felt like it was cooked and, you know, was what the consistency of pasta is supposed to be. You know, the lasagna, the sheets of lasagna. Once you took all the dry stuff off and you actually got into the middle, <laughs> it was actually not half bad. You could barely keep it Yurko down. Yurko dissected it. it he did. He it. cut off the ends and I they cut went off in from the, the middle. dried ends. Yeah. And I went into the middle and it was actually not bad. And um, then... And then the then the tiramisu. Then they brought it came. out. It's on your screen. Yeah, play it. It was a good time. It's on it your screen, Carl. Happy birthday to you. I like it so good. Happy birthday. You got like the whole restaurant sitting here. Happy birthday, dear Carl. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My birthday's in eight months. <laughs> and how was it was the tiramisu? Great. The tiramisu, again, you know, on the top, there's a little squeeze out of a can of whipped cream. Can't even make your own whipped cream. It's got to be fresh. Really? Yeah. Like, you're a restaurant. You're a restaurant. You, you know how easy it is to make whipped cream? Yeah. You take confectioner's sugar, heavy whipping cream, vanilla, and you whip it. Whip it. Whip it real good. And you have to spray it out of a can? You Ugh. saw the size of that restaurant. They're throwing out tiramisus left and right. They don't have time to whip up whipped cream every the, time. The lady fingers were dry. It was pretty, dry, it was pretty disgusting. Uh, it's supposed to be soaked in what, Carm? It's usually soaked fingers. in like a coffee liqueur. Coffee liqueur? Yeah. Uh, it, they were, Dry. I they, thought they, the cinnamon was like uh, generic that cinnamon. Cocoa too. powder. That was yeah, cocoa it was powder. cocoa powder. Disgusting. Terrible. Uh, it's, it's a sad excuse for whipped cream. Make, how hard is it to make whipped cream? I had yeah. three bites of it. You, you, if you, it like, was so bad I took three bites of it. Uh, you know. Was it as bad as you were the whole experience? Was it as bad as you thought it was going to be? I would say probably not. 
because the eggplant parm and the calamari were passable, the salad was fine? I'd say probably not. I think I've eaten at worse restaurants, believe it or not. Uh, it was still somewhat disgraceful. Again, the, the pasta and the, and, the, and the pasta of Azul were... <laughs> it's tough to take for any Italian. I mean, that is pretty... Disgraceful. It was pretty disgraceful. Have you gotten an email from Italy saying that you can, are no longer eligible I, for uh, dual citizenship? citizenship? I, I, not yet. You know, our old boss, our old, our old content director, Mike Thomas, sent... Uh, well, he sent a tweet because he saw, like, Adam's first tweet of the day as we were walking in. And I think Mike was beside himself. And he's like, what are you doing? So I texted him right away. You know, Mike's back in Boston now. And I said, I lost a bet to Black and Abdallah. So that's, and he goes, oh, he's like, well, thank God. He goes, that makes sense. <laughs> and he goes, tell the boys. I, he, Mike would have loved this bit, by the way. He would have been right up his alley. I mean, he would have loved it. He, and he, he was like stunned. And a few people who didn't know what was going on did reach out to me via text or social media and be like, what are you doing, dude? And like a couple of our chef friends were even like, wait, what? Why is this happening? I said, I lost this bet. And they're like, oh, whoa. How many people thought it was your birthday? <laughs> uh, a few. Luke Pergandy texted me, <laughs> our good buddy from Prop Swap. I said, Luke, it's in December. Thanks. Black and Abdallah are having some fun. He thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Hoodie texted me this morning. Same thing. When I told him what was going on, he texted me back like a series of cr laughing, crying emojis. So Hoodie, te a few people did say happy birthday. Uh, so all in all, Adam asks, was it as bad as I thought? Probably not. Uh, but it's bad. And I don't understand but the what, infatuation what with the bad. breadsticks. I right. don't understand. But, but what was bad was horrifically horrific. Horrific. Yeah. Horrifically bad. It's like, oh, my God, what are we doing here? Bad. I mean, we still ate. Yeah, like, I, I still I ate, ate a meal. I ate most of the eggplant, honestly. Yeah. I wasn't even hungry for dinner. Yeah, no, same. Abdal, I got home, and I swear to God. usually I eat after the I show. Swear to God. I didn't eat dinner I did, last I night. I was full. I didn't eat dinner when I got home. I was still full. Bottomless breadsticks. I, I was full. That's good or bad. You guys, and Chris, I didn't Chris eat still dinner. on my we, fast. We went through the breadsticks. Chris, like the waitress came back. Chris is like, we'll take some more of those breadsticks. Yeah. Bottomless breadsticks. <laughs> Never ending. She's like, uh, okay, we, more breadsticks. We do have to say, though, this was submitted as an expense report. I am going to. I haven't yet. Have I haven't updated. And the final total was what? It the was final roughly... total was very affordable. It was $122. With okay. that, for 122 people. For that's four definitely. People. That's death. underneath. That's $30 Three, a three piece. lunch specials. Yeah. And then Yurko's tour of Italy. Because it was your birthday. Yeah, and a free, free tiramisu. Term, tiramisu. So I'm going to expense it. Yeah, okay. about that. Well, see, here's the thing. Abdel oh, and I oh. picked up on a, uh, something that was taking place during the lunch. Uh, there's a certain individual among us who was ordering wildly off the menu <laughs> and then didn't eat any of any his of food. It. Any of it. I any told, of it. I told Waddle and yeah. Sylvia when we started Unhinged, I said, your code didn't eat anything. That's anything. not true. He played on the iPad yes. the entire time like yes. a child. By yes. the way, every fine Italian restaurant has an iPad on every table where you can play billiards games. I hope everybody <laughs> knows that. All great Italian and restaurants have game. And a, yeah, He played video games all the time and didn't touch his food. The, the whole time. You didn't, you didn't eat anything, Yurko. You didn't eat anything. The whole time. That and, is scandalous. And because of that. Yeah. That is scandalous. Because of that reason. The fact that he ordered seemingly for a table of 10 and didn't touch any of it. Director of content Danny Zetterman has now no. said it is uh -huh. on Yurko to pay no. for the meal. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think that's fair, but yeah. you owe me $122. Well, well, first Good of Carver all, Brands is not going to pay for there'll it. There'll be yeah. a cold day in hell that you get $122 from me. <laughs> you, a cold day in hell. I mean, if I can't expense it. Secondly, you're going to expense it like you were approved to expense the darn thing. All right. $122 for four people to go have basically dinner. Yeah. And provide the content that Lunch we have provided. Like can I, can I tell you this? <laughs> hey, can I tell you this? Yeah. It's a deal and a half. Deal of a lifetime. Secondly, I had to order Tour of Italy because we had talked about it and promoted it so much that I had no choice but to go away from what I wanted to order. What did you want to order? But to get the Tour of Italy because we had pumped it up so much. The fried shrimp was so a little much. much. Oh, Didn't need the terrible. fried shrimp. Yeah, well, it was... A big plate. They're of, called appetizers. We, we, we've got a fellas. few more stories to tell. We do have to break. And then Billy Z's coming in at the bottom of the hour. I, I've right. got a few other things to tell about yesterday. And then I think Chris and Abdallah have an explanation as to why the pasta was so cold. Maybe there's some weird place in Italy I'm unaware of where they sell a cold, clumpy pasta that's been sitting around for four hours before you order it. Uh, I, I don't know. But they have a theory on that. And then uh, a few other tales from our adventure uh, <laughs> 
It, I got to say, it was a fun day with uh, the three of you. It was a, We had a fun afternoon. And it you're was called, a fun it day. It was a fun what day. A day. It was. I enjoyed it, it, We had a great day. The White Sox should and, play more and, uh, and straight <laughs> doubleheaders. Hey, and Abdallah's got a pass from the CTA that gets anybody on. Well, it's the greatest thing in the we world. We got a few more stories. We'll take a quick break. Uh, we left Olive Garden yesterday, and it's on Addison at the Expressway, we told you. Now, Black lives very close to there. I used to live in Logan Square, Avondale, not far. And one of my favorite places is Longman and Eagle. That's real food. Uh, Chef Brian and the crew at Longman, always great. And I said, let's at least finish this now with something good. I said, I'm, let's go to Longman. I'll buy us a cocktail. We'll mm -hmm. watch the end of the... You guys were into the uh, Real Madrid Man U game. Yes, we, Champions no, League. Manchester City. City. I'm sorry, Man City. Excuse me. Forgive me. And so we sat at the bar. We had him put his phone out. And we watched the game. We had an old fashioned. Uh, the folks at Longmore were kind enough to give us a couple of their little barrel pick pours that they had recently done, too. Delicious. And when their, Yurko ordered this big seafood misto thing, which again was terrible, this fried shrimp that was sitting around all day was no good. These sad little excuses of vegetables that were I, I don't even i don't even know it's just awful they're called shrimp misto that's okay frito shrimp misto shrimp, shrimp frito, misto, misto. frito. Yeah. Yeah, misto. not seafood just shrimp okay. well there was a lot of it it was a huge plate nobody really ate it because i don't think anybody liked it's, it it's not true black ate a lot of them i ate a lot of the shrimp i shrimp. had a few shrimp the, the, I, I had like six shrimps yeah. oh wow you, you had, had a lot, shrimp, of, your, you had a lot, lot of your limp green peppers and zucchinis were left that's well, what was left. We figured we'd bring it back to Charlie Bevins. Yes. yes. So Charlie will eat anything. And That's apparently right. Adam told him, he said, hey, we're going to bring you the leftovers. Right. You know, Charlie was like, ah, oh, Which right. is another reason that so, I didn't eat everything because I knew Charlie was going to be the benefactor of this. So we went to Longman and Eagle. We sat down. We had a cocktail. We were watching the game. But then it was time, okay, you're going to have to get back to the studio to get Yurko's car to go to our Whiskey U. And Chris and Adam were going to be on after the second White Sox game. So I pay the check. Yurko leaves a tip. We get up. We go over to take the blue line right there at Logan across the street. The Logan stop. And as we're going down, down the, the stairs, stairs, we can hear the train coming. Yeah. And we're like, oh, let's go. Come First in. park. This is one of ours. Let's final, go. Final call. Doors are closed. So Chris and I are running. Yurko's booking. I've Yurko never seen Yurko move hustling. that fast well, in my hustling. life. And Yurko can't go downstairs quickly because his body's beat my up. My patellas felt like they were going to fly off like Chinese throne stars. I thought he was going to. I legit thought he was going to fall. So we're hustling to get on this train. Feet we can get still on, move, though. The feet can still move. We get on, the doors close, and Abdallah goes, crap. And I said, what? And he goes, I forgot Charlie's leftovers. <laughs> Sitting, and then when we got here, on the we opened the door, did the thing where, like, we're opening the door and Charlie's, like, pushing it open. And we're like, we're sorry, man. I forgot. This is on me. Like, I put my hand on I was like, this one's on me. They're sitting. If you want to go to Longman and Eagle, uh, there's a whole thing of fried of leftover fried food, shrimp if you want to go get it. And Adam felt so bad. Somehow he got put in charge of Charlie's leftovers. He sat it on the bar next to him. We got up. We left. And he realized that literally as the doors on the train closed and it started pulling away. He realized he forgot the leftovers. Why do you guys think? What is the, your 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 theory on why the pasta is so cold? Oh, because Yurko wasn't eating any of it, so it just it sat yeah. there. He let it sit. He just sat there. He let it marinate in the air. Yeah, he didn't eat anything. Yeah, but yesterday. it's not like we waited ten minutes wait, before we tried that. Wait, it's a personal shot needs, at you, Yurko. He needs to wait Venmo you one hundred and twenty-two dollars and seventy-eight cents. To me. Like, the two of the fellas got back together, and they started concocting a little something in their minds. Frick and Frack got together and decided, hey, let's do a little bit of this. I've Yurko, never seen someone order so much food and not eat any of it. In fairness, Black and Abdallah, and me, Black and Abdallah, did not discuss this at any point this morning. Mm -mm. When Crosstalk Unhinged started, and we taped a new one, I said to Waddle and Sylvie, Yurko barely ate anything. See? They're like, did Yurko like it? I said, he barely ate. That's not true. We all seem to have that recollection. You guys all have that recollection because you guys are all sitting there in your own minds. All I remember is you playing billiards and excite bike <laughs> the entire time. On I the, had on the, the kids most iPad. salad. I probably tied with Black on having the most breadsticks. Yeah, you did. Okay. I had two. You probably had the most salad and the most breadsticks. I probably had the most shrimp, but Black might have beat me by one or two. How many shrimp were on that? And plate? the calamari, probably hundreds. about 10, 12. 25 hundreds. shrimps. Hundreds, Carm. They, 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 they treat you there like family. They don't skimp on the shrimp. There were a bunch of different things. When you're here, they're family. family. Here's and the, the other way, thing. You, you lambasted the limp zucchini and the limp uh, red pepper. We could have gotten out of so there 15 sad. minutes earlier, but the waitress didn't come over to do the check because Yurko was playing on the thing to do the check. That's, she was yeah. playing on the iPad. She's like, oh, he was in the middle of a game. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> we're sitting around. We're like, boy, where'd she go? She's super sweet. We loved Ilya. She was great. 
We're like, where did she go? Did she take her break? We're looking around. I'm trying to pay the check. Billiards. She goes, oh, I, he was playing his game, so I didn't want to disturb <laughs> yeah. him. What levels like did you get them. to? You got to what? Level seven, eight on the billiards? Uh, level eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was really playing was like, well. Where's it? Chris so, and Adam and I are looking around. Meanwhile, around. the what whole time. To her? Where did she go? I had every tomato and every crouton out of the salad. Hey, the croutons weren't bad. So number uh, the top three things at the at the place for me at Olive Garden were the, the Roma tomatoes. They were fresh, Carm. Okay. I mean, for this time of year to have those Roma tomatoes and be as good as they were, right. they were delicious. The croutons and then the water. Okay. Those were my top three. Excellent. Okay. When uh, we come back. But to say I didn't eat the food is scandalous. Well, scandalous. we all seem to have that recollection. Though. You guys can have whatever recollection you like. You guys are sitting with your own in your own deception of lies. You didn't really eat <laughs> any of the thinking. tour of Italy. <laughs> Carmen any of the scolded you at one point like you were his child because you were on the iPad. Carmen tasted the fettuccine Alfredo. He put it in his mouth. He spit it on his table. Chris went and tasted it. And he said, it's not bad. I went and got a big scoop and put it in my mouth. And I... I for the love of God and everything holy, you sing. I did the best thing I could do to go ahead and just woof it down to make it seem like Carmen had a bias. I'm the only guy once I Thank cut you. off the edges to eat the ravi, uh, to eat the uh, uh, lasagna. lasagna. Yeah, I don't even know what the third thing on the plate was. Chicken parm. And I went over and had a couple of little pieces of chicken parm. The tour of Italy.